good morning. G O O D M O R N I U G. Good morning. Hey, hey, good morning. G O O D M O R N I U G. Good morning. Hey, hey, good morning. Thank you to our power greeters, Grayson, Henry, and Elizabeth. Now, please welcome to the virtual stage, Vice President and Executive Director of City Year Boston, Sandra Lopez-Burke. Wow, what a wonderful way to start our opening day celebration. Thank you all for joining us today as our AmeriCorps members take their City Year pledge to serve the Boston community. Our service looks and feels much different this year. However, City Year's commitment to our mission to make education more equitable for our students has not wavered because we believe that all students can succeed. And our core members' service is more important now than ever before. Fueled by national service, City Year AmeriCorps members partner with teachers as student success coaches and help prepare students with the skills and mindsets to thrive in school and beyond. Even during this unprecedented moment of disruption in the schooling of our children due to the pandemic, we know students continue to dream big and strive for academic success. But a crisis like the coronavirus pandemic has a remarkably disproportionate impact on low income communities and communities of color. The same communities for whom disparities in education are already present. Now more than ever, Students need people who believe in their future, people like all of you. When school begins next week, our dedicated City Year AmeriCorps members will be there alongside teachers to help students build that bridge to their future. We are proud to partner with Boston Public Schools and their talented teachers and staff to meet the needs of our students and create greater educational opportunity for our city's youth. And we are so grateful to the Boston communities and our partners who have graciously welcomed us and partnered with us for over the last 32 years. Our service would not be possible without you. And I would also like to acknowledge and thank our team sponsors. We know it's been a difficult year, but your investment in our AmeriCorps members service and your commitment to advancing educational equity for Boston students it powers our service, and we are truly grateful that you believe in our mission as much as we do. To the family, friends, and mentors tuning in today, thank you for providing our AmeriCorps members with love, support, and encouragement, and for your belief in the power of these incredible young people. And finally, to our 240 AmeriCorps members who will be taking the City Year Pledge this morning, a year of service is no easy task, as I'm sure our senior core members have already told you. And this year will be particularly challenging for students, families, teachers, schools, our communities, and you. But this year will also hold an immeasurable amount of opportunity for growth, for pushing you and others to think differently and step outside our comfort zones. This year will challenge and change you. And frankly, it will challenge and change all of us to reimagine how we can support our schools in creating learning environments where all students can build on their strengths and thrive. Thank you, City Year Boston Corps members, for choosing City Year as the place where you will grow. Through your collective service, you are powerfully demonstrating that national service can help create a better nation and world for all of us. And you won't be alone. You'll be joined by fellow Corps members from across the country. When you graduate in June, you will be part of an alumni network that is now more than 34,000 people strong. They are using their city year experience to usher change and advocate for social and racial justice 
in education, business, social services, government, and countless other sectors. So together, let's kick off a powerful year of service. Thank you all again for tuning in today and supporting our City of Boston AmeriCorps members. Happy opening day! Now, we are thrilled to welcome Patrick Cleary, Chief Operating Officer at our partner school, Tech Boston Academy. Good morning, City Year AmeriCorps. I'm honored to join you here today for City Year Boston's virtual opening day ceremony. I'm Patrick Cleary. I'm the Chief Operating Officer at Tech Boston Academy in Dorchester. Shout out to the City Year Corps members who will be joining us this year. Go Bears! After years of being jealous of the schools that had City Year, I was lucky enough three years ago to finally get you guys into my school. And I will never look back. It has been amazing. Um, each year grows on the one before, and this year we're gonna have to grow more than ever. As you know, last spring was tough on everyone. Um, it was especially tough on the young students. Adjusting to new worlds, adjusting to Google Classrooms and Zooms. Um, but City Year was there. The teachers were there. The teachers were trying to find something new, trying to navigate this new world. Um, and City Year was there helping them navigate. City Year was in those classrooms helping manage the Zoom. City Year was running lunch groups, social emotional groups, website challenges, TikTok dances, keeping the kids' spirit up, keeping the teachers supported. And I started to call the City Year team our co pilots, our classroom co pilots. And that continues this year. As we hit a school year that we're looking to go, hit the ground with a normal school day and all day Zooms, you better believe having that co-pilot will matter more now than it did just last spring or what it meant like in real life, sitting in this coat in that classroom. You in this Google classroom and supporting us remotely, you're gonna help catch those students that would be falling through the cracks. I've been telling other adults about myself and how it feels to be in Zoom rooms and writing in chats and having questions that mean a lot to you and no one reads your question, no one answers your question. And I'm an adult. And I start thinking about that 12 year old in that same Zoom room, asking those questions, raising that hand, and the teacher trying to bring people in, manage a different chat, work with someone in the background. And I realized there's that co-pilot, there's that core member. You're helping the students be heard. You're helping the students be seen. That's gonna be major. Your teachers are gonna feel like they can do their jobs because you are doing your job. Students are gonna be able to access their materials and grow in ways that they need to because they're already falling behind due to time lost in learning due to COVID. I get it, I, I'm there. I want to be standing outside my school in the morning like you all in your red coats. I wanna be giving kids high fives and welcoming them back to school. That would be awesome. But the world has changed, maybe just for another few months, but the world has changed. And the kids miss the high fives, but you're gonna give them to them virtually because you're gonna be in that room. You're gonna be supporting the kids that I can't be there for, that the teachers can't always be there for, that their families can't always be there for. They need to get that education now more than ever in a way that they've never experienced before. So I am sorry that I will not meet you in person in these next few months. And I am extra sorry that the students won't get the chance to get that high five. But guess what? Your work this year, this core, is more important than any year before. So be proud of that. Own that. Make that matter. You guys are gonna make this difference. I am grateful to you. So as we kick off this year, Please remember, you have this superpower just by being you, just by showing up and doing your thing that I can't do. So on behalf of all of us, all of Boston, the Boston Public Schools, thank you. Thank you, City Year. Thank you, AmeriCorps. Let's have the year that these students deserve delivered by this team right here. I appreciate you. Thank you. Truly grateful. Where am I? DJ Clary, shout out to City Year. 
Thank you, Mr. Cleary. Next is someone who is no stranger to our screens or City or Boston. Please welcome NBC10 Boston Morning News anchor and City or Boston board member Latoya Edwards. On behalf of Comcast NBC Universal, thank you, City Year, for inviting me to celebrate opening day and be a part of this inspirational event as you begin your year of service. I'm Latoya Edwards, a proud City Year board member. Today, as 250 of you take the oath of service to proudly serve with City Year, you have the power to help prepare Boston public students with the skills and the mindset to thrive in school and in life. Now, during this unprecedented time, this pandemic, has revealed the existing barriers and underscored the systemic inequities our students, schools, and communities face. The supports you will provide to students this year will be critical to ensuring they continue to feel connected, a sense of belonging, and to have the resources they need to reach their full potential. This is no small commitment. Your work truly matters. It matters to Comcast NBC Universal. It matters to the community, and most importantly, it matters to the students you will serve. Yes. Because of this unusual circumstance this year, there'll be more obstacles to overcome, but that is what City Year AmeriCorps members do best, and we know you are as dedicated as ever. We at Comcast NBC Universal believe deeply in City Year's mission and the immeasurable impact you will have in the lives of students this year. It's why Comcast NBC Universal, it's honored to have sponsored more than 188 teams of City Year AmeriCorps members since the beginning of our partnership. Now this year, Comcast NBC Universal is the proud sponsor of the team serving at Jeremiah E. Burke High School. Shout out to the Burke team. We are so proud to support the incredible work you'll be doing each and every day this year as part of your city year. Now we're also thrilled to have expanded our partnership with City Year over the past three years to provide access to more digital, computer science, and coding experiences for students in systemically under-resourced schools to help all students build the critical skills needed to succeed in today's digital economy. I mean. We know that this year will be an incredibly unique year of learning and development for Boston's children, but this year will also be about you, yes. The leadership skills you will learn and develop during your year of service will set you apart. Know that we will be cheering for you on your journey this entire year. Congratulations again. Now it's time to hear from our core. Our senior AmeriCorps members are embarking on a second, and in one case, a third, year of service and have volunteered to share with you their personal Why I Serve stories. Please give a warm welcome to our AmeriCorps members. At the end of the day, what matters most in any aspect of life is relationships. Life is all about relationships. They heal us, connect us, teach us, mature us, and help us. I choose to serve to expand on these relationships, to invest in today's youth past an educational lens just as the mentors in my life as a child demonstrated authentic care for my holistic being. To grow up in such a negative and confusing world, but to hear people, especially adults, supporting you, cheering you on, and truly believing you is what builds that necessary growth mindset for any young person to succeed. During these confusing times our world is embarking on, what even will get us through? The power of relationships will. As City Year members, we are blessed with the opportunity during such times to expand our support and love and demonstrate what optimism looks like. Rather than dwell in fear, we have the power to lift others up and guide them to the powerful future they will soon see. I choose to serve to experience the good of humanity that still stands, the real and raw connection. My name is Sam Morley, and I proudly serve as a team leader at Excel High in South Boston. I served because I wanted to be the person to my students that I needed when I was younger. I believe that it is my responsibility to give back to a community that reflects where I grew up in Lowell, Massachusetts. Every day that I walked into the Edwards Middle School last year, I saw students who were just like me in middle school. Throughout the year, I was able to sit down and empathize with my students to give them what they needed when they needed me. Whether it was a mentor, a tutor, a friend, or a listening ear. This year, I had the opportunity to do the same thing as a leader at the Charter K-8. This year, I served to do the same not only with students, but also with my team as we continue to strive to empathize with the Boston community. I believe in a service for a greater cause and to be able to use my past experiences to become a leader that my community needs for us. 
My name is Mira Jaliz Encarnacion, and I proudly serve as a team leader with the Wellington management team at the Charter K-8. Every student and community member that we work with in Boston has a voice. We hear those voices every day in the halls at school, at the park on a Saturday afternoon, at school committee meetings. We hear these voices expressing their desires, their personalities, and their ideas. I serve to follow and to fortify those desires, personalities, and ideas. Because each student and community member has a voice that can and will empower others. These voices are the heartbeat of a community. And as long as the heartbeat exists, the community will thrive. I serve to be the person to listen to those voices as they lift up their communities and people around them. This year, my teammates and I will embark on a journey to listen to the Boston community and create projects such as murals that reflect both them and their ideas. My name is Sophia Pars, and I'm a senior AmeriCorps member who proudly serves on the Boston Civic Engagement Team sponsored by National Grid. I serve because, as the child of Vietnamese immigrants, I believe that representation is important. I serve because my mother, Nock Han Lee, arrived in the States with a dream for her family. I serve because that dream is something that many immigrant families all have, a dream for a strong educational foundation for their children. I serve because in these times of social unrest, I strive to love and protect our students and to forge a future they wish to see alongside them. I continue to serve because these students deserve the opportunity to see their dreams come to fruition. I continue to serve because I want to be a part of the solution for our young people. I continue to serve because our young people continually inspire me. My name is Henry Lee, and I proudly serve as a senior AmeriCorps member for the PTC Foundation team at the Timothy Middle School in Roxbury. Um, Henry, that was so beautiful. Thank you for sharing. I cannot believe I have to go after you, but here I go. Um, my decision to serve with City Year was born of my interest in education policy and a desire to actively engage with the school systems in my community. I imagined I would be assisting students with their learning while also reviewing what I thought I already knew about education policy. What I never in a million years expected was to have everything I thought I was an expert in almost entirely erased and rewritten by a group of 13 year olds. But that's exactly what happened. I had never considered the word love when thinking about policymaking before which I realize looking back is a pretty terrible oversight. However, spending the last year in a classroom with the eighth graders I served really transformed the lens through which I view not only policy, but life in general into one with a focus on care for each other. In the end, my 64 eighth graders gave me so much more than I ever could have given them in just a year. And as I begin to think about my career in public policy following city year, I know that it will be driven by the love, joy, and humanity my students taught me to value over anything else day in and day out. My name is Jordan Kettle. I am a senior AmeriCorps member on the Summit Partners team, proudly serving at Up Academy Boston in South Boston. Thanks, Jordan. I agree, love belongs in policy. Service has become my vessel for social and racial justice work and my obligation to serve far exceeds any of the reasons I have not to. While the academic tutoring City Year focuses on is a critical piece of the work, it was my relationships with my students that got me out of bed on the darkest morning, even after working 12 hours the day prior. I wholeheartedly believe my humanity is tied to theirs. And if that is so, I cannot sit back in the comfort of my privilege and watch the racism and classism embedded in our education system continue to limit their success. The current pandemic presents additional obstacles for our youth. And now more than ever, I believe we need individuals who are committed to strengthening their empathy, putting effort into developing relationships with their students, and learning how to actively be a co-conspirator in the fight for racial justice within education and beyond. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, this is no time for apathy or complacency. 
this is a time for vigorous and positive action. I chose to serve another year with City Year because I believe service is my positive action. I serve to dismantle educational and racial inequity to free our students to find their limitless power and achieve their success. My name is Rebecca Hall and I am a senior AmeriCorps member proudly serving for the MFS investment management team at the Fenway High School in Mission Hill. I'm a firm believer in the power of youth and I know firsthand the importance of a caring adult can play in their lives. I'm unique because this is my third year as an AmeriCorps member with City Year. Throughout the past two years in City Year, I worked closely with Ms. Flanagan to support students in her fifth grade classrooms. The transition from in-school service to virtual was difficult, but even on Zoom, Ms. Paz was able to still cheer them on as we got to play games, stay connected, and complete schoolwork. Although everything was virtual and challenging for me as an educator, the motivation of my fifth graders kept me going and the excitement of their learning was still so thrilling to see. There's something special about how a child's whole persona changes when they're with someone who takes the time to really know and believe in them, even if it's virtually. As a team leader this year, I have the opportunity to coach other AmeriCorps members on their journey as they continue to show up and believe in our students this school year in every video or phone call home. I serve because I want students to have the best support possible from our core members. And for me, working with kids is just the best job in the world. My name is Cassandra Paz, and I proudly serve as a team leader with the Bain Capital team at the Guru Elementary School in Hyde Park. Thank you, Sam, Mita Jalis, Sophia, Henry, Jordan, Rebecca, and Cassandra. Now, we'd like to share with you some words of wisdom from City Year Boston alumni. Hi, City Year Boston. My name is Roxy Pernia, and I proudly served at the English High School from 2011 to 2012, and then at the Trotter Elementary School as a senior core member from 2012 to 2013. First off, I just want to say thank you in a time where it feels like we're being faced with new challenges and given new tests every single day. You all have decided to put your hand up and to do something, and that is to serve the community. And no matter your service might look different for each and every one of you, the experience you have, what you take away. For some of you, it will be the connections you make with young people and particularly during a pandemic, helping young people to feel seen and heard during this difficult time. For others, it might be the, the support you provide your teacher and teachers feeling like they have an extra person that's really on their corner to help them navigate the uncertainties of remote learning. And for some of you, it might be uh, being a shoulder to cry on or being a, a level of support for your teammates and other core members throughout, um, throughout the year. Whatever it is, y'all have chosen to put the greater good above yourself in this moment. And that's something that we really, really need more of right now. And it really is a beautiful thing. So in terms of some words of wisdom for y'all as you enter your year of service, um, I came to City Year Boston thinking, really passionate about working with young people. I had already worked with young people. I knew it was what I wanted to do. And so I came in like ready to go to uh, serve the youth that I knew were feeling potentially like the system wasn't designed for them or that they uh, hadn't been supported through their education. Now, I assume many of you have that same goal for yourself. You came to City Year because you're excited about mentoring, coaching, supporting young people. That's amazing. Don't lose that. Stick with that because that is very important. The thing I didn't know and what I want to share with you all is how much the people on my team and the other core members, senior core members around me would have an impact on me and my journey. Pretty quickly in the year, I learned that I was giving a lot to the, the students that I was working with and not a lot to my team. And I got called out for it um, and I didn't understand it, but soon enough I learned that this was a team effort, that we were not gonna be able to do the work that we needed to do this year without each other. So I challenge you, to really get to know your teammates, to really grow with one another, to challenge one another, uh, to really be, don't feel afraid of giving feedback and really being able to grow and, and, and grow together. Um, but yeah, these people are gonna become some of your closest people for the rest of your life. Um, and so 
don't be afraid to get to know them and to really understand them. So there y'all go. Have a wonderful, amazing year. No doubt it's going to be a journey, but you've put your hand up. You said you want to do this. Let's do this. And I can't wait to see y'all at graduation. Bye. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Barbera. I served on the Henry Greer Elementary School team 2019 to 2020. City Year in Whole is an experience that you can only fully understand by being in it and doing the program. If I had to describe it, it was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, but it was so much more rewarding than I could have even imagined it being. And in those hard times, I advise you to lean into the uncomfortableness of it. Lean into the uncomfortable conversations and the hard conversations that are had at BTA and LDDs. Lean into the uncomfortableness of going into a school system that none of us have ever gone into before. And lean into the uncomfortableness of new friendships and new connections that you didn't know or think you could have. Honestly, I had to do virtual learning for only a month and a half. And just that month and a half, I learned so much about myself and about my students. I had a student who lacked motivation to come into school, or Zoom, I should say. And she showed up once every like two weeks. And then we got put in a breakout room together and I learned that she kind of did a little more of her work with me just because we were friends uh, beforehand. And so we started this thing, me and my partner teacher, where after our Zoom call with our class, I would stay behind with this one student and we would do her homework for the hour after Zoom, where she could talk to me, we could hang out, we could do whatever. And it was great. She was showing up to class every day. So I tell this story because although it seems kind of silly at times to be showing up for a Zoom call, you got to keep showing up because you may be the only reason that your students do show up. Thank you so much for joining City Year and serving in Boston, and I look forward to seeing you all at graduation. City Year Boston, I am excited to be a part of your opening day as you embark on a transformative year of service. My name is Isabel Barros, and I proudly served at the Jeremiah E. Burke High School seven years ago. Like all of you, I am a mentor, coach, and role model as a Dean of Students in a nearby district. Recently, one of the first students I met while serving at the Burke reached out to me on social media. I was surprised to hear from him and of course, ready to hear all of his life updates. As we were talking, I asked him why he reached out now. And he mentioned that at his graduation, I told him to find me when he turned 25. Of course, he's now 25. I don't remember that conversation at all, but I'm sure I said it thinking he won't remember this. And I was reminded in that moment that our students hold on to what we do and what we say. He of course about, asked about the team and if I was still a part of city year. I told him about the upcoming opening day and if he had any words of wisdom for all of you. So he sent me this text message um, and I won't tell, how many, tell you how many tears I cried when I read it, but I'll read it to all of you. One reason why we're talking right now is because of you, the two of you, you and Todd. Todd is my teammate. You showed me that there's some people that can care about you and really want the best and they're not even your blood. He goes on to say, so that that being said, go into the school year and treat the kids like you really wanna see something out of them later on in life, care but only care if you mean it and be there for the kids because they need it the most during this time. Don't give up on them when times get hard and they won't fail you. Right? <laughs> so his next text to me was a question and he said, like that? And I clearly remember sitting next to him at the Burke and he'd be working on an assignment um, or just reading something and he'd look at me for reassurance and say like that, or just look at me and I'd give him that smile or Ned head nod, encouraging him to continue. While you may not be in person to start, um, our students will be looking at you through the screens, looking for those smiles and those head nods and that encouragement to keep going. So I know this year will be difficult, it'll be different, it'll be full of challenges in so many different ways, um, but there also will be moments of joy and there'll be moments of laughter that come straight from the belly. So as you begin 
your work with young people, I encourage you to be your authentic self, to show up, and as my student said, to really care. City of Boston, I am so excited for all of you. I wish you all the best and congratulations as you move forward with your year of service. Woo! Thank you, Isabel, Roxy, and Lizzie. To lead us in our City Year Pledge, please welcome back our senior AmeriCorps members. Traditionally, the Corps is led by a City Year Boston alum to recite the pledge. However, we think the unique and unprecedented circumstances of our service in the year ahead call for a break in tradition. Today, we, the 2020 City Year Boston Corps, will be leading each other in the pledge. Please follow along by raising your right hand and repeating after us. I pledge. I pledge. To serve as a City Year member to the very best of my ability. To serve as a City Year member to the best of my ability. Honor the rules and expectations of City Year. To, to honor the rules and expectations of City Year. To respect my colleagues and the people and communities we serve. To respect my colleagues and the people and communities we serve. To provide excellent service. To provide excellent service. To lead by example and be a role model to children. To lead by example and to be a role model to children. Celebrate the diversity of people, ideas, and cultures around me. To celebrate the diversities of people, ideas, and cultures around me. To serve with an open heart and an open mind. To serve with an open heart and an open mind. To be quick to help and slow to judge. To be quick to help and slow to judge. To do my best to make a difference in the lives of others. To do my best to make a difference in the lives of others. And to build a stronger community, nation, and world for all of us. And to build a stronger community, nation, and world for all of us. For all of us. Thank you to everyone who made our program possible. Special thank you to our national opening day sponsor, Comcast NBC Universal. And thank you, our friends and family watching from home, for supporting us in this work. Make sure to follow at City Year Boston for service updates all year long. C -Y -A.